Hello guys and welcome to my well, tutorial slash walkthrough. Uh, because of the new era and the uh, launch coming around in just, well, soon, I've decided to create a nice little tutorial. So let's start. We are currently looking at the login page with a new, nice awesome new logo. And well, logging in. So Timing my password in and log in. First thing to do is to select the, the dream lot, the gender and the color. So I'm just going to pick something nice. There, maybe some outlandish color. Ah oh, no, I'm going. With, yeah, I'm going with something weird. Purple. <laughs> so. I've now I've got a purple male dream lord and now I've got to select the race. There we got the Sewell. They are big wolf like creatures. Oh, strong in battle, their philosophy is to fight and they are bloodlustly, which is reflected in their life feed spells. Then we got the uh, Nihilim. They are the well, magic race, they're, uh, those guys, w they're scientific and they got the best magic and they are cruel. They lie. They've got some uh, abilities like fear, training the moral of the enemy, and stuff like that. Th so they got good casters and good spells. But, I will take the covenants. They are the knights of dream lords. They are strong in face and strong in battle. Kind of a medieval society. And one of the main units is the Breacher, which can revive units. It's a very strong ability and makes them very good in PvE. And they got the best tanks of all races, so they are a good choice for new players. If, especially if you want to play PvE, so I'm going to take them. So choose race. And wait a second. There we are, logged in. And a small lag right there. Nothing big. Because uh, and come on, the awakening. The first quest, the tutorial quest, where you, the game tells you how to control your stuff in there, so... Hmm. If you play, you should take some time to read all that and click through it. I will... Well, I will hurry a bit here. Um, so, with left click you select your tree mode, yeah, and with right click you move around, and with a mouse button you can turn your screen and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. And you can also use the arrow keys for moving around or move your mouse to the sides. Okay, that's that. <coughs> now we got to walk through those guys because I've got some kind of trouble. Ah, and that's a small thing. The green ball button, this one, shows the objectives. They listen to the villagers' objective, got a blue ball, because it's not fulfilled yet, but also not failed. <laughs> uh, yeah, blue ball. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. So, listen to the villagers. So, I guess we should go to them so they can talk to us. Can it be you look like you are a dream lord? Yes, we are. Please, Lords of Dreams, help us. The Nightmares won't stop attacking our village. We are in... We are in... Where is it? Uh, small thing, you can click on the dialogue button and then it brings all up all the old dialogue and you can reread it. It's a very nice function. Ah, we are in desperate need of your help. So Nightmares have been spotted to the southeast of your will our village. Please get rid of them. There is a Nightmare. It's a lazy swamp grunt. Swamp grunts are awesome. 
one of the coolest uh, nightmares in there because they're just that fun, especially when you hear them talk later on. Hmm. So well, uh, red the minimap. Blue is allies and your own units. White is selected units. Yeah, see, selected something, and then it got white. And now I'm selecting this, it gets white. Red is an enemy and blue is allies, and yeah, just as that. Mm. Uh, so we take our dream lot now and right click on the swamp grunt. So, yeah, and yay, it died. More nightmares down there, let's kill them. And let's use our ability to solve. It, uh, I've used the hotkey, so I pressed uh, D and then clicked on the target. Well, using hotkeys is pretty important for PvP, but not so much for PvE. But still, it's a nice thing to do because it's easier and faster. So now we have slain the enemies, and yeah, a small thing for to dissolve. It's a slow and a DPS skill, which is armor piercing, so it ignores the armor. But armor is something I will cover later. Ah, and then the nice function which they just tell us here is that if you press Alt, we can see the HP of everything in the game. Everything which has an HP, because apparently those houses are indestructible. And this down there is the loot. If you move uh, over it by clicking on it, right click, we collect it. So we did, and there are thankful and stuff, and tell us to move on to the next city, which we will do. Victory! So we got some divine mandate. That's a divine intervention. It's a heal buff which can be used. I will cover those things later. <laughs> anyway, this is our Patria. Well, my Patria in this case, but yours should look just like that. I've got to say hi to the guys, and yeah, so we got the Patria. We currently only have a few lands unlocked. <laughs> so, the man. This, uh, as you can see, it's pretty big, and there are some nice things on there. I will, I think, I will cover it till here in the tutorial, maybe even here. Anyway, we those functions up there are still disabled because we aren't in control of our city here yet. Um, few things which I can say about the interface. On the top right you got options, where you got the controls, general, audios, graphics, stuff like that. Down here you got your chat. The general chat, then, uh, well, you will have the general chat, the island chat, which is uh, unimportant currently, and the private chat here, and the help chat. Those chat will be chats will be available to you, and in the options under general enable language specific tab you can enable different language specific tabs there, yeah, which is currently only German. <laughs> Enable. So now we move on to the second quest. The Masters of the City. Oh one thing, have you seen the question mark on the top right in the previous screen? If you haven't, move the video back a little bit and look at it. Uh, if you got a game uh, installed and running, you should click on it. It has some nice infos. Some are maybe outdated, but overall it's still good. Okay, so we are in our second quest, and well, he wants us to travel to the middle and talk to the captain and the town leader, which is the priest, because. They are just that big on faith that their priests are their town leaders. Yep. So, yeah, da -da -da, working there. And in this quest, we basically convince those, convince the people in the town to work for us. 
this will become our main city. Yeah, they're under constant attack from from nightmares. Um, when you actually play that quest, read all those texts. The story is pretty epic and important. Anyway, we've got the city guard now. Our first cr the first unit which we can actually control apart from the dream lot. And we will use it to kill the lazy swamp rats there. We can see they've got three abilities which we the footman later will also have. There's the defensive stance, which is, um, well, um, it reduces your DPS but increases your armor and moral. Upon that later, yeah, and then we've got the taunt and the damage skill. Pretty basic. Okay. Now the swamp crowns have been slain. The city guards are taken over again by the city guards. And I've got to move to the Covenant Master of Warfare and Welfare and convince them to work for me again. So, doing that right now. Yeah, hello. Can you please work for your divine being, which you should totally believe in and follow? Yeah, thank you. Yay. Now, the objective is to... Return to the town leader, because my work is done and stuff. And hey! They found a soul shard. Soul shards are awesome. You can dissolve them into gnosis. Gnosis is something like experiences. Stuff. And the more gnosis you have, the more followers you b get. And the more followers you get, the stronger your dream lord is, and the more uh, workers you... Well, followers will become workers. More army, so... The patriot clause and stuff. No, collecting the loot and well, we got some soul shots. We got the city, the guys in the city, the back to work. And with that, that quest should be over, and we should get access to the bro also part of the game, the actual where you got the city management. And this concludes. Video number one. Well, yeah, victory! Video number two will cover the browser part. Okay, we got uh, some resources, some divine interventions, and some dreamlock gear. So, this is it. See you next time.